Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up booting a Windows operating system. Computers with Windows may boot slowly from the first day or after some time. For example, when many programs are installed and most of them are enabled in the startup, so they start at the same time when the operating system starts or when the system drive is packed almost to the full so the operation system is starving for free space that it needs for normal work. If the operating system or BIOS are configured in the right way, it can also result in longer booting time. In this video, I'll try to show you the most important things that affect the booting speed and how to make your computer boot faster. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. One of the ways uh, to boost your system is to clean the startup list from anything that is necessary. In Windows 10, you can find Startup in the Task Manager. To open it, right-click on the Start menu and select Task Manager. Or you can press the key shortcut Win plus R and enter msconfig in the window that opens. Then go to Startup tab and disable all unnecessary applications. If you are not sure what items can be safely disabled, search the web for more information. Right-click on the program and select Search Online, or copy the name and paste it into the browser's search field. When your system boots, services are booting too, which can slow down your computer and reduce its performance. That's why you can give it a boost by disabling the services you don't actually need and get your PC to boot faster. To open the Service Management window, type Services in the search field and press Enter. Disable the ones you don't need. For example, I will disable Fax as I don't use it. Right-click on the service, Properties, Disabled. In the same way, you can disable other unnecessary services. Have a look in the description below this video to find the list of services you can safely disable. When starting, Windows boots many features which also affect the system performance. You can make your computer boot faster by disabling the features you don't need. To do, to do it, go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, turn Windows features on or off. In the window that opens, disable the unnecessary ones. For example, I don't use Internet Explorer, so I disable it by unchecking the box. After that, the computer has to reboot. You can find the list of features you can disable in the description under the video. One more way to speed up booting the operating system is to set the boot priority in BIOS. By default, optimal BIOS settings always include checking for boot options from DVDs or USB drives. As a rule, though, it's only necessary when installing Windows or in the rare cases like removing viruses, while at all other times such option only show, slows down the computer, especially if there is a disk in the optical disk drive. To fix this problem, go to BIOS. To do it, press a certain key while the system is booting. Usually, it's either DIL, F2 or F10 keys. Visit our channel for a detailed video on how to enter BIOS or UFI. Find the link in the description. In the settings, find Boot or Boot Priority, and next to the line First Boot Priority, select Hard Disk. Thanks to such settings, the system will boot straight from the hard disk and it will save the time the computer would otherwise spend on checking the CD DVD drive. You can also enable fast boot option to accelerate booting even more, but you can only find it in newer versions of BIOS. However, many users complain that after enabling this option, they can't enter BIOS just because there is too little time to press the necessary key in time. To enter BIOS, just hold down the key while the system is booting. Slow booting and low performance of a Windows operating system is often connected with low system disk space or lots of junk files. That's why the first piece of advice should be to run a massive cleanup. You can watch one of our videos to see how to do it properly. Find the link in the description. One more thing you can do is to disable the file indexing function. You can do it by opening the file explorer, then right-clicking on the disk and choosing properties. Uncheck the box next to allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties. 
File indexing is a special Windows system service which speeds up the process of searching for files on hard disks. It's useful for people who often search for files and want to find them as fast as possible. However, if you don't often use file search, disable it to get your computer boot and work faster. Windows 10 features the fast startup function, which can also help to accelerate booting the system. This function is enabled by default, so if you haven't disabled it before, there is no need to search for it. However, you can enable it by going to Settings, System, Power and Sleep, Additional Power Settings. Open Choose what the power buttons do and click on Change settings that are currently unavailable to make it possible to enable fast startup. Booting the operating system can be too long because of viruses. If that's the case, you have to find and remove them, and one of our videos can help you do it. Have a look in the description and find the link. Another way to speed up your computer significantly is by replacing the old hard disk with a new SSD, or at least changing your system drive to an SSD. After that, your PC will boot and work incredibly faster. In addition to the new hard disk, you can add extra memory. Having a few gigabytes more has always been a nice upgrade for a computer's performance. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!